We are at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the 10th race of Season 3 of the SCRL NASCAR Legend Series. The 58 of Chip Roberts will be leading us to the green flag. Stone beside him is the 21 of Bulldog 67. As you can see, the time is up there, which it shouldn't be. This game is really messed up. I'm going to have to get a new one. Rest of the qualifying grid. All 39 entries will be racing. We got some new drivers that signed up. They'll be making their debut in the next race at Martinsville. So we should have a 42 car field, I believe. Maybe it's 41. Oh, anyway. Yes, Charlotte. Here's the command. Uh, drivers, start your engines. Is that okay? <laughs> Awkward. The field is rolling off. <coughs> yes, we're at Charlotte. And oh shit. Dink Drinker and the double zero. Ding Drinker's car is smoking, blowing up. Uh, wow. Something mechanical went wrong in this car again, just like it did at uh, Talladega. Oh, we got another car. 57, Rosa D. Silva heading to pit road. So unless Ding Drinker can get that car across the start finish line, Ding Drinker will have uh, his third straight finish of dead last. Well, actually not third straight, three out of the last four. Pace car is heading in. A 40 lap race here at Charlotte. Chip Roberts leads him to the green. There it is. Wow, Dink Drinker has the, has the worst look out of anybody in this uh, league. I think he surpassed uh, Jesse Turner for the worst luck. Chip Roberts actually has damage on the side of his car. So does the 99. I don't know how. Colin Driver, number six. Our winner in the first race of the season at Riverside. Leads him off for turn four. Colin Driver leads lap one. Number sixth wing car, very fast. Leads him into turn number four. Let's go with TV one. Turner will lead yet another lap. We got battle for second. It's the 43 of Orius. Speaking of Orius, he is looking to win <clears throat> his third straight spring Charlotte race. Of course, he won at North Wilkesboro. He dominated. Yep. Of course, the driver that at number 43 has the second most wins in this uh, whole league with 15. Only four away from Chuddle. He gets passed by the 07 of TJ Hanley. Hanley got involved in a wreck at Darlington. Has not been able to score a win yet. Here comes the 18 of Brian Fox, who is winless as well in his Legends career. Hoping to turn it around. And third, there is points leader Jonathan Reigns. Driving the car that Elmo Langley drove back in the day. And Langley, I mean... Reigns takes over the race lead, heading down the back stretch. <coughs> Being pushed by the 24 of Matt Mike Pearson. Oh, we're catching the 57 of Rosa D. Silva. 
Range will lead a lap. Mike Pearson will take over heading into turn one. Being pushed by Gabriel Wernley in the 31. Gabriel finished second to Aureus at North Wilkesboro. Still looking for his first Legends win. Being pushed into the lead by the 36 of Matt Johnson. See, I got your name right this time. And Gabriel Wanderley leads the lap, but here comes Matt Johnson. And that Coca-Cola car. Sponsor. DJ Curtis in the 48 is right behind him in second. Oh, Curtis cuts low. Curtis as well is winless this season. Actually, none of the Curtis family has ever won in this uh, series. Shuttle in second, right behind him with the sec with the most wins in this whole league. We have 19, still looking for career win number 20, and Curtis goes high to try and go around Rosa De Silva. He cuts low. Good decision. Chuddle's going to get blocked. Here comes the seven. Jay Barker take over second place. And that red, white, and blue colored car. I wouldn't say that's a throwback. Because this is a old mod too, so technically all these are throwbacks. Jay Barker maintains is race lead going down the back stretch. Being pushed by the 34 at Kaka White Line, who has not yet won since her return to this series. Jay Barker goes high. And Barker will lead a lap. Here comes White Line. Which I don't even think White Line has ever won in this series. No, she has not. <coughs> Here, <clears throat> here comes Roland Chavez in the 25. Who won at Atlanta. Looking for career win number two. Chavez will lead the lap. Here comes the 45 of Raleigh Spurley Tube. <laughs> 45, race leader. Here comes the four. Need HPK. Winless ever since she came back to this series. She has not won in over a year. Her last win was at Talladega. Which, of course, we've already run Talladega a couple races ago. 68, Ebola Wonderly takes over the race lead. Twenty-seven, Cole Nixley, who coulda, woulda, shoulda won Darlington, Darlington if it wasn't for lap traffic, has taken over here at Charlotte with with uh, Cole Nixley in the lead. Here comes the seventy-two, trying to move on up. Yep, I'm not even going to try and pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Constant battles for the lead. This is what you want. 39, Dale Garrison, who coulda, woulda, shoulda won Ontario before being beat by Ding Drinker. Boy, have times have changed. Ding Drinker winning at Ontario. Several races later, uh, Ding Drinker has retired and finished dead last. Three out of the last four races. while Garrison is up in the race lead. Garrison blocks. Here comes the 19 of Richard Torres. None of the Torres family has ever won in this series as well. 
Being pushed behind him is the third of Jesse Turner, who is winless as well in this uh, series. Had a good run going at Darlington before his piston broke. I believe it was at, at Darlington. Running eight, which proves you can be anywhere and something mechanical can break. Turner leads the lap. Here comes the 28 of Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell won at Richmond. Looking for win number two. Here comes the 22 and Noah Cars. As well, winless. Nope. Number A, Zachary Fitzwater. Having a good run in that number eight car. Under underfunded team. And he's in the race lead. Of course, you know, well, you know all the ratings are the same. But it's still a single car team. So. And Fitzwater blocks Orius. And Orius goes high. And I believe Fitzwater will actually lead a lap. Yes, he will. Zachary Fitzwater leads a lap. And here comes the 32 of Nick Productions. Making his. I want to say third or fourth start. I'm not real sure. Go for the spectator cam for a little bit. Ooh, the five almost clipped them right there. Productions continues to hold the race lead. Five. Josh Barker wants the lead. Let's go with the spectator. Oh, yeah, we're using the uh, Charlotte 1990 version. Since the 70 and 60 is broken. Which I really do not know why people release tracks and they're not even, you know, working. You know? If you're going to release a track, make sure you do your homework and make sure it's fixed all the way. Bulldog 67 takes over the race lead. Our Season 2 champion. He leads the lap. Here comes the 31. Gabriel Wonderly. Next time by will be halfway. We have not yet had a single caution. Which is good or bad, considering what you want to see, Rex or Racing and Rex. <clears throat> Gloria Tucker wants the lead. And she takes it. 51 into the race lead. To the line, it'll be Gloria Tucker leading on the 20th lap. Here comes the 47 of Joseph Curtis. Being pushed by the 98 of Chris Kyle. Chris Kyle dominated at Bristol for his second win, I want to say, in this series. Uh, one, two, yes, second. Joseph Curtis leads the lap. Here comes Chris Kyle. Driving the 98 that Ye Lee Roy Yarborough drove. <clears throat> yeah, but here comes the 70. TJ Hanley being pushed by. I mean, JT Hanley being pushed by TJ. We got two Hanleys. <clears throat> and TJ. I mean, JT. JT leads a lap. Here comes TJ. There's too many Hanleys in this field. The 07, new race leader. Driving the scheme that Cuckoo Marlin drove back in 60, back in 70, excuse me. Here comes the 18 of Brian Fox. Who has several wins to his credit. But here comes the 64, Jonathan Reigns. Our points leader. Jonathan Reigns has one win to his credit. He won at North Carolina. Looking to double down. And we're approaching 
A slow car, that's the 99 of Kelly Lee. We should be approaching her very shortly. The 57, as you can see in the purple car, is Rosa De Silva. She's one lap down. So our new race leader is the 48 of DJ Curtis. Curtis leads them down the back stretch. Trying to get around that purple car. Cuts off Sebastian Torres. Barely. And Sebastian will push DJ Curtis. There's a 57. And there's lap traffic. Will it get affected again? Sebastian Torres gets hung out to dry. He'll drop all the way back to the dead last, probably. As the front two, Curtis and Nick and Daniel Bouchard actually pull away. Bouchard is second in points, I believe. The 06 takes over the race lead. Now for long, here comes the 45 of Riley Spurley to. Now for long, here comes the 36 of Matt Johnson. Being pushed by Nina HPK. Constant battles for the lead. That's what you want in a race. Constant battles and wrecks when you can get them. But so far we have not yet had a wreck. The four takes over. Doing everything in our power to get a win. takes over. A spectator cam. Look at this big pack. Yes. The four maintains her race lead. Here comes Orius for second. Like I said, looking for his third win in a row in the Spring Charlotte race. Looking to write history. He tries to cut down front of Bulldog 67, does not work. 21 will now be in second place. Like I said, our season two champion. Has not won a race since Richmond fall race in season two so it's been a while since he's been victory lane hasn't been in this league for a while took a long absence now he's back and now he's going to lose the lead to the 32 of Nick Productions now for long here comes the 19 Richard Torres has several wins in this series. I mean, league. Now, cars decides it's time to take the lead. And the 22 is our new race leader. Here comes the 07 of TJ Hanley. There's Chip Roberts in the 58 car. He's got damage to the left side of his car, which I still don't know how he got that. I guess it was at the start when he hit the pit road wall. But that car is handling nicely. And 
And we got a slow car. That's the 32 Nick Productions. You shouldn't be able to get and see the field has split up actually. And whoa, the 10 actually has some damage. Benoit Lovett Irvine, who won the last race at Darlington, has damage. Ebola Wonderly is your race leader. Here comes Gabriel Wonderly. We're going to have family members fighting for the lead. As long as they don't wreck each other like Kurt and Kyle did in the All-Star race one year, I think they'll be fine. And our field is split up into a pack of 18. Right? Uh, yes. No. Yeah. Wonderly maintains. Gabriel maintains his race lead. And we're getting the five laps to go signal. Gabriel blocks a little bit. Yes, he does. Still your race leader. Dale Garrison blocks Cole Nixley for second. Four laps to go. Yep, here comes Dale Garrison in the 39. Whoa, what? The 31 just stopped all of a sudden. Oh, wow, this is going to slow up the field. Oh, he hit the 30, he hit the 51, and all these cars are going to lose precious time. And we got a pack of three. Jesse Turner takes over. So we got Turner, Fitzwater, and Garrison battling for the lead as Cole Nixley and the others try and catch up. The front three have never won in this series. Fitzwater, Turner, or Garrison. Fitzwater right on the back bumper of that 30 car. Two laps to go. Garrison's going for second. Does he have enough power? He's trying. He's right on the back. He's at the quarter panel. He's at the side. He's going to complete the pass in two. And I don't think we'll catch lap traffic. Turner is loving this battle between Garrison and Fitzwater because that's going to allow him to pull away. Garrison completes the pass. There it is. White flag. One lap to go. Is Turner a sitting duck? Let's see. Garrison goes low. Turner high. And he's trying to block. Garrison with the run. Heading down the back stretch for the final time. Fitz, Fitzwater is pushing Turner. Will that be enough? It, it is. Turner with a push from Zachary Fitzwater. Turn after all his recent struggles. Jesse Turner scores career win number one in the NASCAR Legend Series. That's Charlotte. Wow. The streak is over. Here are your race results. Jesse Turner scores a very weird and confusing win at Charlotte. Dale Garrison finishes second. Third, Zachary Fitzwater. Fourth, Joseph Curtis. Fifth, Brian Fox. Sixth, Gloria Tucker. Seventh, Chris Kyle. Eighth, Josh Parker. Ninth, Cole Nixley. And tenth, Aiden Shepard. Yeah, the finish was very weird. We got drivers multiple seconds behind and all that. Drivers laps down. And once again, Ding Drigger will finish 39th, not even completing a lap. Ugh. A bad track, kind of a good finish. And then victory lane time with Jesse Turner. Whoops, wrong one. Sorry, wrong button. That's going to go on the blooper wheel.